Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I will teach you and provide you the complete notes for class 11th and 12th biology. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. In the description box, I will provide you my contact number so that if you have any doubts, you can contact me. Please feel free to contact. So in this video, we will talk about cell cycle and cell division. Our key points are cell cycle, cell division, phases of cell cycle, regulation of cell cycle, C value checkpoints. Coming to cell division, cell division is a process in which parent cell divides into two daughter cells. The information of parent cell is distributed into the two daughter cells. Cell division is of three types mitosis, amitosis, and meiosis. Mitosis is also known as indirect division. A mitosis is also known as direct division and meiosis is known as reductional division. Mitosis is also known as equational division because wh why it is called equational division because the number of chromosome in the daughter cells remain same as that of the parent cell. In case of meiosis it is known as reductional division because the number of chromosomes gets reduced to half in the daughter cells. Coming to cell cycle. Cell cycle is a sequence of events by which cell duplicates its genome, synthesizes other constituents of cell and eventually divides into two daughter cells. Means cell cycle is a complete cycle which is divided into four phases G1, S, G2, M phase. So what happened exactly in one phase the cell prepares for the another phase. So it this complete cycle leads to the duplication of genome synthesizing other constituents of cell and finally in the last phase what happened the division of two daughter cells or divisions into two daughter cells takes place. Coming to phases of cell cycle if you see it consists of two phases interface which we also call resting phase or preparative phase another is m phase which we call mitotic phase interface if we see it is of again substages g1 s g2 g1 we call gap 1 phase and s phase we call it synthetic phase g2 we call it gap 2 phase m phase is again divided m phase means mitotic phase is again consists of two stages karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis comes from two word karyon plus kinesis karyon means nucleus kinesis means splitting so it is the splitting of nucleus and this splitting of nucleus we studied under prophase metaphase anaphase telophase so karyokinesis is again divided into substages prophase metaphase anaphase telophase next cytokinesis cyto means cell kinesis means splitting so it is the splitting of cell coming to interface if you see interface this is the diagram of cell cycle g1 s g2 m phase and from here to here this is completely interface so here what happened the if cell undergo preparation in interface for the main M phase, M phase. This M phase is a division phase, mitotic division. So for the cell to divide, it has to prepare. So this preparation stays, we call it interface, which includes G1, S, G2. In the interface, the cell prepares itself for M phase, that is division phase. So coming to interface, it is a long non-dividing and growing phase of the cell cycle. Cell prepares for cell division, so it is also called preparative phase. Now it consists of three phases, G1, S and G2 phase. Now we will see about each phases individually. Coming to G1 phase, we call it gap 1 phase. It is the interval between mitosis and initiation of DNA replication. It, this is the G1 phase, so it is the interval between mitosis which takes place in this phase and initiation of DNA replication. S phase DNA replication takes place, so it lies between these two. So this is the first phase where the cell prepares itself for S phase because after entering into G1 phase, the cell will move to S phase. So here what happens the, in G1 phase, the cell prepares itself for the S phase. How it prepares itself? By synthesizing the nucleotides, by synthesizing ATP, by synthesizing proteins, by synthesizing amino acids, by synthesizing RNA. 
as all this synthesis takes place so the cell cycle cell size increases human in human the g1 stage takes 11 hours some cell do not divide and enter into the g0 or quiescent stage and in this quiescent stage what happens cell remains metabolically active but do not proliferate clear so what is g1 phase if we see see a brief description in this diagram this is g1 s g2 m phase in g1 phase what happens the cell enters and move into g1 in g1 phase the cell prepares itself for the s phase s phase what is s phase it is a synthetic phase here what happens what type of synthesis takes place dna synthesis that means dna undergoes replication here so for undergoing replication dna needs nucleotide proteins atps amino acids rna so all this in all this material will be synthesized into the g1 phase fine now after g1 what happen once the cell enter into s phase then what happens the cell starts replicating its dna once replication takes place then cell enters into g2 phase again in g2 phase we notice that it is before the m phase so what happen here the cell undergo preparation for the main division and where the main division takes place at m phase we call it mitotic phase which is divided into karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyo kinesis we will study under prophase metaphase anaphase telophase clear so g1 phase what happen it is a interval between mitosis and initiation of dna replication it prepares the cell for s phase by synthesizing nucleotides by synthesizing atp by synthesizing proteins by synthesizing amino acids and by synthesizing rna as synthesis of all this material takes place the cell size increases it is a in human the g1 phase takes 11 hours next coming to s phase we all know s means synthetic phase what happens in synthetic phase dna replication takes place cell doubles the amount of dna but chromosome number remains same so here what happens the amount of dna increases but chromosome number remains same how is it possible if you see this diagram this is a chromosome say this is a single chromosome under that what happened initially we had only the red color line that is which we call chromonemata now what happened during s phase there will be replication of this thin thread like structure and we get at the end of s phase we get this two and at the end of n phase we get this two thread like structure so here chromosome number is 1 but chromonemata has increased what is chromonemata it is nothing but dna bounded to histone proteins which we call nucleosome so here what happens dna replication takes place cell doubles the amount of dna but chromosome number remains same new dna molecules form new chromatin fibers and where does the dna replication takes place dna replication takes place in nucleus but if we talk about animal cells there is another uh, organelle which we call centriole it is found only in animal cell so this centriole also duplicate in the cytoplasm in s phase <clears throat> histone proteins are also synthesized because we know uh, dna is always bounded with histone proteins so if dna is synthesized obviously histone proteins are also synthesized so what happens in s phase in s phase the dna replication takes place cell doubles the amount of dna but chromosome number remains same new dna molecule formed in the nucleus and in animal cell what happen along with dna cytoplasm duplicates also cytoplasm also duplicates and which takes place in the cytoplasm now we know dna is bounded with histone protein so here histone proteins will also be synthesized coming to g2 phase which we call gap 2 phase here what happened the cell prepares itself for the main division that is mitotic division so how it prepares it synthesizes the tubulin protein why tubulin protein because it helps in the formation of spindle fiber mitochondria chloroplast golgi bodies duplicates synthesis of all the three types of rnas mrna trna rrna synthesis of atp so in g2 phase what exactly happens there is a synthesis of protein called tubulin protein which helps in the formation of spindle fiber mitochondria chloroplast and golgi bodies 
gets duplicated. Synthesis of RNA takes place. All the three types of RNA, mRNA, tRNA, rRNA, then synthesis of ATP. If we talk about plant cell, in plant cell mitotic division is seen in both haploid and diploid cell. But in animal cell mitotic division is seen in diploid somatic cells so understood what is g1 s g2 in g1 what happened the cell prepares itself for the s phase in s phase the dna replication takes place in animal cell the duplication of centriole also takes place in the cytoplasm plus histone proteins are synthesized if we talk about g2 what happened here the cell prepares itself for the m phase how by synthesis of tubulin protein what is tubulin? It helps in the formation of spindle fiber. It again then cell organelle mitochondria chloroplast Golgi bodies duplicates. Synthesis of all the three types of RNA takes place. Synthesis of ATP takes place. Clear? Now we will see the regulation of cell cycle. Now if we say regulation of cell cycle, that means cell cycle is regulated by certain factors. So that we will be discussing here. Decision of a cell to divide occurs in G1 phase. If cell do not divide, it will enter into the question stage. So what happens at the end of the G1, there is a check point fine so this checkpoint will check wh which type of cell will undergo replication so if it find any cell the dna is damaged and with then it will stop the cell in moving to s phase so it directly leads the cell to move to question states restriction point or checkpoint g1 s transition open cell enters into s phase it completes the cell cycle this is regulated by cyclin dependent protein kinase cyclin dependent protein kinase kinase is found in cytoplasm this cyclin gets activated and binds to kinases which leads to the regulation of checkpoints g1 to s transition is regulated by g1 cyclin plus cdc2 kinase g2 to m transition mpf maturation promoting factor formed by mitotic cyclin and cdc2 kinase that means what if we see here this this diagram so at the end of g1 there is a checkpoint Again at the end of G2 there is another checkpoint. Again at metaphase there is another checkpoint. So the checkpoints will check if the cell is ready for division or not. Fine. So if we talk about G1 checkpoint what happened in G1 checkpoint or restriction checking point. It is also known as start point in East. G1 checkpoint what it will do after a cell enters g1 it moves to s phase so in s phase dna application takes place so at the end of g1 the checkpoint check if the dna has got any damage or not if any damaged dna is present then it will not allow the cell to move into s phase so what it checks g1 checkpoint g1 checkpoint checks for any damage in dna for enzyme proteins atps present in sufficient amount or not that will be needed for the s phase then it activates the cyclin protein clear and g2 checkpoint it is present at the end of the g2 checkpoint so at the end of the g2 so we call the g2 checkpoint it's it it checks whether the dna is properly replicated or not whether the proteins or enzymes needed for the cell division are present in sufficient amount or not whether the tubulin protein is present or not then at the end of metaphase also one checkpoint will be there this we call spindle fiber checkpoint this we will be discussing and uh, in this checkpoint what it basically check if the spindle fibers are properly attached to kinetochore core or not in the next video we will talk about we will talk about m phase so please hit the like button and thank you for watching